Hello techies. Welcome back to Power Automate Desktop Tutorials. In the previous tutorial, we have learned how to insert a new worksheet into the Excel by using add new worksheet Excel action. Now in this tutorial, we will learn how to activate an Excel worksheet by using set active Excel worksheet Excel action. First of all, we'll see what is the use of this action that is set active Excel worksheet action. Let me show you a small example over here. If you see on my screen, I'm having an Excel with the name of employee selection. If you observe in this Excel, I'm having three sheets. One is employee info, another one HR process, and after that third one employee details worksheets. These are three worksheets which I have in my Excel. All right. Now, if you don't mention which sheet is active, in that case, what it will do, it will take it as a default one at the first worksheet and then it will write the data. So let me show you that one first to make you understand. Now I'm going to drag and drop this right to Excel worksheet onto the workspace. Now, if you observe over here, I'm going to write a value value to write. I'm simply saying hello world. Okay, and over here, if you see write more on the specified cell, I'm going to give it and then the column I'm going to give it as A and the row I'm going to give it as five. So what it will do irrespective of the active worksheet, whatever the first worksheet you have, it will write the data over there. Let me show you that over here. Can you see any sheet name over here? No, right? So I'm going to insert. I'm going to write the value hello world into the column A and the five, and then I'm going to click on save. Now let's run the flow to see the output. Flow execution has been completed. Now let's open the Excel to see the output. Let's double click on that on the Excel. Now, if you see in A5, that is column A and row number five that I got hello world. All right. But if you see over here, irrespective of that, let assume if I want to go for the HR process, then how can I add the value in the H5? Or if I want the, you know, if I want to write the data in the sheet one, that is employee info with the name of that, in that case, how can I go ahead and do that? By using write to Excel worksheet, we don't have that option directly to select any, to select the worksheet. All right. Now, how can we go ahead and do that? There we are having the option set active Excel worksheet action that we have by using that we can activate which sheet that you want to write the data. Now, let me drag and drop this set active Excel worksheet onto the workspace. Now, first of all, we'll see the parameters. We are having Excel instance. That is the same instance which we have created as part of launch Excel. And if you see activate worksheet with there are two options that we have. One is name, another one is index. Let me start with the name first and it will ask worksheet name. If you go for the Excel, there you can find employee info, HR process, employee details. Let us assume right now I want to write the data in the employee info worksheet so that I'm going to copy that name over here. Now I'm going to give the same worksheet name over here as employee info and then I'm going to click on save now by using this flow what it has to do it has to write the data in the employee info in the column a and row five it has to write over here right to make you understand what i will do i will make a small change in the text that is hello world that i will say a5 all right let's click on save let's run the flow to see the output flow execution started and you can see it has been closed successfully by writing the data by using write to Excel worksheet. Now let's say open the Excel. Now, if you see over here in the column A and row five, that hello world A5 has been written successfully. Now, if I want to change from one sheet to another sheet with the name or as well as the index, I can give it right now. If you see it will starts employee info starts with one HR process starts with two and employee details starts with three. All right. Now I will start with the indexing. Now what I will do, I'm going to activate the worksheet with index over here and then it will ask for the worksheet index. I will give it as three. 
So if you don't know the index, then in that case, it is better option to use with name. All right. Now over here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to use worksheet index as three, and then I'm going to click on save. Now what will happen? It will write the data in hello world A5 over here. All right, let's run the flow to see the output. Flow execution started and also it has been written successfully in the Excel. Now let me switch to Excel once again to see the output over here. Let me go to Excel over here. And if you see, I'm right now in the employee info, right? Let me go to employee details. That is index three, one, two, three, index three, right? And you can see the data over here as hello world A5. All right. I hope you understand how to activate the specific worksheet in a particular Excel by using set active Excel worksheet action. And also we have seen how to write the data into the particular worksheet by using write to Excel worksheet. Thank you for watching Power Automate tutorials. If you have any queries related to this concept, please post them in the comment section. I will see you in the next session. Till then, bye-bye. Have a wonderful day.